Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota RAV4 XSE Hybrid. Now the most notable features on this XSE is its heated front seats. You also have your heated steering wheel along with your blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota RAV4 Hybrid XSE. Well, let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this XSE is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. Taking a closer look just over on the side, you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors and taking a look on the inside of the mirror, you're going to see your blind spot mounting indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just learning that there is another vehicle right beside you. You have the smart key system with it, so with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push it on once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now if you hold it there a little bit longer, it'll actually open up all the doors for you as well. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now, taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your black interior with your power driver seat with lumbar support, automatic high beams, window wiper, de-ice, your heated steering wheel and power lift gate release, and then you also have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, Bluetooth connectivity, voice recognition, as well as your volume control. Cruise control, lane departure alert, mode select, and seek function. Now, it does offer the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So if we take a closer look, you'll be able to see your audio on here, as well as your fuel economy, a distance to empty. You can go through your lane departure alert, as well as your trip info, energy monitor, and then you have your all-wheel drive in here as well. Settings menu of the lane trace assist, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, rear cross traffic alert, and a couple of other additional features, and you'll finish with your messages menu. Now, you do have an exterior temperature gauge as well as a digital clock, and then if you take a closer look just at the center dash area, you have a couple of different features on here, so if you take a closer look inside the menu screen, you have your audio phone apps as well as a couple of other additional features. Now, inside the apps menu, it's part of the Entune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as the Scout GPS app, which allows you to stream your maps from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores, just depending on which preferences are. It does come with the Sirius XM satellite radio with your hazard lights, dual zone climate control settings along with your heated seat controls for your driver and your passenger and traction control on and off usb and power outlet as well and it's matted to an automatic transmission and as you can see you have your trail ev mode and your eco and sport as well so when you actually turn the dial it'll actually change color there as well and then if you hit the button in the center it'll go back to the normal mode and as you can see up top here you have your auto dimming rear view mirror and if you take a look in the back window there there's actually that little arch there that's actually the camera for the mirror here, which is nice because if uh, you're driving down the road and you need to see exactly how close somebody's falling behind you, it definitely comes in handy. Or if you need a second view for uh, backing up. Now, if you just flip it once more, it'll show you you have your settings menu just located on the right hand side. And then if you take a look up top here, you have your open and close for the power moon roof with SOS Safe Connect and your sunglass case holder. Taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you. When you back into a stall, you can also change up the backup camera view to a more dynamic view or the traditional backup camera view you're used to. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate, now located just on the back of the tailgate. You'll find your backup camera just on the left-hand side and the rear hatch release located just underneath your Toyota emblem. So all you have to do is just push on the button once and it will open up for you. Now, closing in on the rear cargo space, as you can see, you have your cargo cover in the back, which is great because you can cover up your valuables just by going from place to place. And then you also have a 60-40 split for the rear seat, so if you need the additional space, it's available to you. If we take a closer look underneath the floor, you have your spare tire as well as your jack and tool kit, so if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. The other nice thing is that you can flip this piece over just in case the cargo that you are hauling is a little bit rougher on the carpet side. 
and then if you need more room up top then you can just lower it down a little bit farther as well now the other nice thing is that you do have a power adjustable uh, sorry power adjustable tailgate so if you hold down the button for approximately two seconds the height you'd like it at It'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. However, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times. So when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. A couple of uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.